Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and today I'm playing the Stanley Parable. The reason why I'm doing this is because I just recently played through the uh, game called Dr. Langesco, the Tiger and the C Terribly Cursed Emerald, a Whirlwind Haste. And that very much reminded me of uh, this game um, in many good ways. So uh, I just, I played through the Stanley Parable, I think it's some years ago, so I thought why not playing it again and this time recording all of that. So yeah, here I am and I just begin the game. And with the m famous loading screen, the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So his job basically uh, is just what I am doing, except for the difference that I, uh, besides a keyboard, I got a mouse where I c can click more buttons. I'm gonna click, 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 click. Can't click that. And I'm out of here for two seven. All of his co-workers were gone. Apparently. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, will I go there? First I want to touch all the doors. Can I go anywhere I want to go? No. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. No, I couldn't. Shut that off. Spare some energy, you know. So when I played uh, the first time, I uh, played it quite a lot back then. And I uh, kind of reached some uh, thing. It were most of the endings. I definitely didn't get them all. And I probably won't get them all this time. But, well, let's see where this uh, this playthrough will lead me this time. Turn them all off. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. Yes, of course. It didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Ah, too bad. I'm sorry that I couldn't make it right for you. I hate Mondays. Yeah, what else could you say about that? Except that it's totally true. 100%. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I really wonder uh, who the hell... F who the hell, when uh, you are playing this for the first time, I wonder who will actually go through the left door when the narrator tells you to because when I hear that and 
I see that right door open over there, my mind tells you automatically... Narrator, what are you telling me? I don't want to follow your orders. I have to go through to the right door. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. Direct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Ah, yes, Perhaps I did. He wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, the most admirable uh, employee's room. What a room! Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here. Drinking it all in. The atmosphere and cold drinks. I want cold drinks. Gimme, give gimme. Give I want cold drinks. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, well, those chairs and paintings are really worth looking at. You know? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly <laughs> on his overall personality. Well, it's possible <laughs> that this is why everyone left. <laughs> I haven't that heard this line, obviously. I haven't been as long in this room as I did now. But, but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. The first open door on, this, on to his left would be that one. No, I'm bad at following orders. Stanley was so bad at following directions, See? it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Even the narrator agrees with me. So where am I going now? Uh, should I try the ending that most of the people won't get? I don't think how many people get that ending I'm about to try out now. Because uh Basically, you can jump just. Hey! His eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Yeah. One thinks you are very powerful. Of course I am. I wonder how many people got that ending. Who dared to do that? Or who even tried? How wonderful! Stanley was alone. Finally, this is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Yes, the whole office just for myself. All those PCs, all those computers I can touch. And all those doorknobs I can touch. But won't do any difference. Wandering through hallways. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, should I go there now? Nah. I think this I'll not stick. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps I he wanted to stop by the employee Shut lounge up. first, just to admire it. I think I will stick to not following orders. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous gorgeous room. Indeed. Thank good but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Now, just ignore what he says. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I don't I know. I that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Yeah, and I'm writing this my own story. Sorry about that. Someone you've forgotten. <laughs> what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? I just Why? take a leap of faith. I don't know how to you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay, so Give why is chance. there a sign saying danger everywhere? More doors. I wanna open. Why aren't they... are they all locked? I don't get it. 
Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. This is again the choice between left and right, not between uh, red and blue. So I'm going to go through the blue door, of course. Well, Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Uh, Stanley walked through the red door. No, I'm 100% sure that I walked through the blue door. Aha. I don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. No, I did not. See? All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to yes, find yes, out yes. what lies at the end of this road you've yes. chosen? Well, yes. don't let Show me. me stop you. Okay. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Well, there's Broken a big empty rooms, room here. Developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it Naturally, of course. The entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Yeah. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go yeah. ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Yeah, besides, this door looks completely different than those other two boring doors. This is made of wood. It's got some profile. And uh, also the hallway behind us is orange. Ooh, I love orange. It's so bright okay, and shiny. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Yes, no, yes, no. I don't know. I got no. Um, no, no. I'm. Uh, go for three. Oh, of course, a three. Really. Yes. Next time we can get you to form an actual opinion. You know. No. Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings. Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes. No, I'm just a stupid One person. Pushing buttons all the day Here, long. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let Let's me take check. A look. Oh. Oh yeah, the leaderboard. So everybody is offline. Yeah, that makes sense because there's no one there. 91,730 while a lot of doors open. Did you know that? 21.3% of the players skipped the intro sequence. Yeah, apparently I'm the last one. Hmm, too bad. Why is that so? I wanna improve, please, game. Help me improve my score. I wanna get up on the leaderboard. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Yes! Again, honest answers, please. Yes, yes. Without a leaderboard, walking through doors is just walking through doors. But with the leaderboard, it's... Wow, it's what a competition. It's absolutely a one. God, I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. And now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay, show me. It, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Loading, loading, loading. With no ending. <coughs> oh, that one. He crawls left towards danger. You click the button mm -hmm. to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why <laughs> don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Okay, so this is horrible. I don't want to let the baby crawl into the fire because uh, I'm no monster. But uh, hell no, I won't sit here for four hours clicking that stupid button. Although I know there actually is an ending when you do that. Uh, I, I looked it up in the internet, but uh, forget about it. I won't sit here 
I won't sit here. I won't sit here and pushing that button thousands of times for four hours or more. So I'm very sorry. I'm a monster. Uh, yes, I am. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because I hate you. I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. And babies. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Well, it must be better than, than pushing the baby button game. Oh, it's Minecraft. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? It is Minecraft. Yeehaw. I'm making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill <coughs> a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Well, too bad I'm not really into Minecraft. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And yes. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Wonderful. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed oh. at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Well, from the inside, it's even more impressive than from the outside. See what I mean? Inside? Uh, come on. I can't get in there. I can't. See, inside, it's... Wow! Absolutely marvelous. And outside, yeah, it's okay, it's great. But from the inside, mm, man, that's no comparison. But, wow, and this house will be made completely out of diamonds. Then it will shine bright as a diamond, yeah? You know what I mean? It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Have you? Because I haven't. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow uh. and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. You know this that I'm afraid of heights? One out of five. Whoop! Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. I hear something. Uh new game so I think I got in mind what, uh, where I will end up this time and I think I will love it I will so love it because yes that's portal <laughs> <laughs> yes I don't even know what this game is but I love it I do too trapped in a glass box with no way out listening to me that that oh, it's inspired I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure Cute. it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Everything is so cool looking here. It's so like the original. That's absolutely amazing. And I came through here critical thinking Stanley your forte I was really falling out of my chair because I was laughing so hard you have no idea genius ah right well, it's even quite like portal because uh, just that there is no gladys there is only an old man talking to me so yeah well Portal you know what I think that's plenty was quite really narrative as well to see you stumble through any more of these games and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience which is why rather than continue to waste my time I'm just going to leave you here 
You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. Let's so, see, yeah. why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Okay. Goodbye, Stanley. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. Whee! Yeah! Ouch! A fall from that height is supposed to kill me normally, I guess. Filing cabinets. Oh, it's everything. Work in progress. Will I ever find my way out of here? Whee! Where am I now? What happened? Bam! Oh! I'm in a dark, in a dark office, which is still work in progress. So where am I going? It's all dark, and this was this would be quite a good setting for a horror game, I must say. There's a light. Ooh. Yeah, that's my office, 427. But something changed. Something really heavily changed. What can I do? Can I push anything? Yeah, I need to push buttons, because that's all I can, apparently. As the narrator said, that's everything I was born for. Yeah, and it what went he black. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh yes, yes, I'll be back, there's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. But I can't. I'm in such a hurry. Yeah, there it is, the end. As he said, the end is never the end, it's never the end, so I'm suggesting I'm just starting all over in my normal office. Um, which I think is a good point to stop this episode here, I will definitely uh, do more of that. Um, and yeah, basically if you enjoyed watching then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, share the video, leave a comment, or basically just do what you want, what you feel you should do. So, I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time and uh, bye bye!